we need good data in all times, in all situations. So for example, right here, we're on day five of the Hill and Woolsey fires. Um, what you're seeing here is the easily accessible data. Um, in this case, uh, on a local uh, TV broadcast on KTLA. So they've done, they've sucked in the, the fire perimeter data, which you can, um, which is now widely available. You can get it in KML form, you can get it in shape file form, what have you. Both the raw data from uh, NASA satellites in terms of burn perimeters as well as um, different agencies such as CAL FIRE and local agencies. However, when it comes to the um, where people should evacuate or where people can evacuate from, what you see here is we still have this mandatory evacuation um, on this Monday morning. Uh, now this is uh, now a great example here. This, this graphic implies that uh, that, that this is the only area of mandatory evacuation. There's all kinds of other mandatory evacuations in here in Malibu. Um, what's the difference? This is Ventura County, this perimeter here. This is Los Angeles County. So Los Angeles County is not, um, is not set up or hasn't uh, configured their systems to supply um, data in an easily integratable way into different apps or different mapping programs um, compared to Ventura County. So uh, this can, uh, obviously these newscasters, these folks are running around really quickly trying to get people information out easily. If we have more easily accessible, more rigorous, more open data products, that allows, in this case, the communication of risk and the communication of where things are happening to happen that much more efficiently, that much more accurately. So data is important for a whole variety of things, not just for analyzing what happened after the fact, but also helping to manage real-time disaster scenarios, um, be it a hurricane, be it a uh, wildfire, or any other type of uh, natural or uh, disaster or other disaster.